Hello students, welcome back to Narayana Digital Classes. Today, we will be solving the assignment number 21 on the topic Atomic Structure. Let's move on to the assignment. Here the first question. The question is, time taken by the wave for one complete cycle or vibration is called right so see here this is the wave this is the wave right so the height of the wave generally we call as crest and depth of the wave we call as trunk in a complete one cycle means one crust collectively called one crust Two, one trough. One crush to one trough. So from this point to this point is called as one cycle. One cycle. Right? So here the question is time taken by the wave for one cycle so how much time to take in for one cycle generally it's called as time period it's called as time period right so the correct option is third option so time taken by the wave for one complete cycle or vibration is called as time period clear let's move on to the next question Here the second question, which of the following is a correct? So in the following options, they have given some relations. So this relations is, so one is velocity of V indicates the velocity of light. Of light. And N is here frequency. and L is wavelength wavelength right so V is velocity of light N is frequency it's also indicated with nu and L is wavelength that is indicating with lambda right so the relation between the relation between frequency light and wavelength is v equal to n into l v equal to n into l so the correct option is first option so which one of which one of the following is correct v equal to n into l let's move on to the next question Here the third question. Which of the following is highest wavelength in electromagnetic spectrum? So this is the electromagnetic spectrum. In this spectrum, there is different, <coughs> different wavelengths are present. So different regions, right? So from this wavelength to this wavelength, one region. For example, 0.0001 nanometer region is cosmic region and the like that. So 400 to 700 region is visible light region. So in this electromagnetic wave uh, spectrum, which one has the following is highest wavelength. For if you see this spectrum, the radio waves which are present in 100 feet of the wavelength. So this is the highest wavelength in electromagnetic spectrum. So the correct option is radio waves. Clear? Let's move on to the next question. Here the fourth question. Which of the following is a least 
wavelength in electromagnetic spectrum so just before we have discussed the highest wavelength of electromagnetic spectrum that is radio waves so now least wavelength of electromagnetic spectrum by this picture we can say that cosmic rays which is present at 0.001 nanometers cosmic rays least wavelength ray, uh, ray, electromagnetic spectrum is cosmic rays which is present at 0.0001 nanometers so the correct option is first option clear let's move on to the next question so which of the following is highest frequency in electromagnetic spectrum so here we need to remember we need to focus on one point that is highest frequency that is highest frequency right we know that frequency is indirectly proportional to wavelength that means which has highest wavelength that has lowest frequency in the same way which has lowest wavelength that has highest frequency so in this electromagnetic spectrum cosmic rays present at lowest wavelength cosmic rays are present at lowest wavelength those has the highest frequency so the correct option is cosmic rays first option so according to this relation frequency is indirectly proportional to the wavelength so cosmic rays are present at lower wavelength and that has the highest frequency clear let's move on to the next question here the sixth question which of the following is correct which of the following is correct so they have given some relations which are belongs to the so the c equal to c equal to speed of light and nu equal to frequency lambda equal to wavelength right so the relation between speed of light frequency and wavelength is e is c equal to nu into lambda c equal to nu into lambda that is second option right if we rearrange the this formula in terms of frequency right in terms of frequency then frequency nu equal to c by lambda frequency nu equal to c by lambda that is first option right if we rearrange the first e formula in terms of wavelength that is lambda lambda equal to c by frequency c by nu that is third option so all the three options are correct all the three options are correct so here the correct option is fourth option all of these clear so with this i come to the end of the session thank you very much